Hello and welcome to Grouping Rows in Excel. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. I'm trying to group email addresses together in a cell adjacent to the common email address. Any tips? I do have some tips and I'm gonna talk about them in this video. Exercise one. Now here we've exported some data and it has a contact's name, the contact's primary email address, and then their additional email addresses. And the question was how to get these additional email addresses grouped in a single cell. So the first thing we're gonna do is convert this data range into a table. The way that we do that is insert table. Here, our table has a header row, which are the column labels. So I'm gonna check this box and click OK. Now the benefit of storing this data in a table is that tables auto expand. And this is just gonna make future updates easier when there are more contacts. And with our table in place, it's time to head to the next exercise. Exercise two, now it's time to use Power Query. We select any cell in the table, head to Data, From Table Range. All right, the first thing we wanna do is select our email address, go to Transform, Fill, Down. Now this creates a column that we can use to group by. So then we click group by. We click advanced and we're gonna give the new column a name called emails and it's gonna include all rows. We're also gonna include a new column called name which is gonna give us the max of the name value. And then we click okay. Now I'm just gonna click and drag and move name over here, perfect. Now we wanna create a new column that just has the additional email addresses. So we basically wanna get this additional table column out of this table. So we can click add column, custom column. The new column is called additional and it is equal to table.column and the table is emails, comma, and then the column within that table that we want is additional. Close the function and click OK. Now as we can see, we have a list and the list contains the emails we want to group. So we click custom column and this will be called grouped. Here we're gonna use the text combine function and it's gonna combine this additional column and the separator that we want is a comma and we just put that inside of quotes. Close the function and click OK. And now we have it. We don't need the emails column anymore so we can select it and delete and we don't need the additional column anymore, so we can select that and delete. And with these transformations complete, it's time to send it back to Excel in the next exercise. Exercise three. In this exercise, it's time to send these results back to Excel. Home, close and load two. We wanna send it back to a table in an existing worksheet. So we pick exercise three, we pick a cell and we click okay. And now the grouped values are in this table. What's really nice is we don't have to go through that again in future periods. Since we stored our data in a table, tables auto expand. For example, let's say I had Jeff, jeff at gmail.com and an additional email address of jeff at yahoo.com. All we need to do is go back to the results table, right click and refresh. And just like that, we see the new contact. Now, if we wanna edit this query, we certainly can. For example, maybe we want a comma and space in between each of the email addresses. To edit the query, we can double click and we can navigate to any of these applied steps. Click the gear icon. Now, we can just make this little modification and add a space and click OK. Then we can just click close and load. And now our results table is updated accordingly. And that's how we can use Power Query to group rows. Hopefully it's helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 